Hey yo. Four hey. guys with a mic taking on the world. So I just can't f-ing speak. Like good old club soda. And welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast. Listen Buddy <laughs> Podcast X Hardstone Psycho. Yep. We got Brian here. We're gonna get yep. into that. We're gonna introduce him as well. But we got me, myself, Eon, Odell, Dominic. Hamza and Ushwin, the whole core five gang. Come on, there, you know, special guest Brian, aka iPhone seventeen. Mm-hmm. Dude, I don't know why <laughs> it doesn't show it on my end. What am I missing? Hang on, start. Try to. Oh, 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 oh. oh. yo, yeah. oh. Hardstone, yes. Hardstone, psycho, rock bar. Come on. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, we should have went bandanas out here. Dude, yeah, no, oh, no, no, no. I wore I all right. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna pause the music in uh my background so I can hang on one second. Still hang on my bandana. Woo! Yeah, Yo, oh, brother. I like the background. Oh god. Dude, That's shout out that. Sergio Gomez for uh tagging Emily Mendoza. I hope she saw that. <laughs> okay, hang on one sec. Sorry. All right, now you have my full attention. Sorry about that. Hey, sir. On, we're going hard stone. On, on. We're all on the chopper right there. Oh yeah, and just quick, uh, quick little note: if the meeting ends, uh, just go ahead and like rejoin because I think that's how mm-hmm. we can do it. Okay, so it's been recording this whole time. Yeah. Yes, sir. I got yes, you. Sir. Going hard stone. Hey, too. that's hard stone Brian right there. Come on. That's hard stone Brian right there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Come on. Yo. Come All right, on. Brian. Who the fuck white are guy you? from New Hampshire that uh got co-opted into this music career. Woo! Hey, Let's go. Yes, sir. How's it go? Shout yeah. out New Hampshire. Shout out New Yeah, Hampshire. shout out New Hampshire. Live free or die. Okay. Is that is that New Hampshire's motto? Yeah, dog. L F O D. Oh shit! Okay. Damn, bro. Yeah, L-O-D dog. Is fuck. Yeah. You got yeah. that? You got that tatted? You are you real about that? Yeah. L O F O D. Wait, no. <laughs> Where'd you go? We lost Damn, you. Damn, bro's not L F O D for real. <laughs> what is this? Who's <laughs> 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 in my mind? Hey, this is gonna be an episode for real. It's gonna be something, man. Okay. okay. I think did Bro's phone die? I'm gonna go to the Avengers Tower. I'm gonna be chill. Oh, oh iPhone 17 is back. Hey, iPhone has arrived. Dude, I'm so sorry, dude. So Your phone this, died. Fucking, this this app apparently like drains the living hell out of my battery. I had like half a battery. I didn't think it was gonna drain that quick. Now it's directly hooked up. What well, iPhone we rocking? 17. Oof. Oof. So I like he's got, the, he's got the unreleased. <laughs> it's still in beta. How is that possible? <laughs> you need to let just know your troubleshoots. It. Yeah, yeah, it's a new feature to make things suck more. <laughs> hey, I could use some of that. Start video. Hey yo. One, two. Hey. Oh, all right. Thank Let's go. Yeah, right, so now I have to position it in such a way I can be fully present with, there. With, uh, with the fellas here. I can you uh, can you angle it to where it's almost like you're sitting on his lap? Uh, that's hilarious. Um, let me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying here. Let's see. You guys are fucking hilarious, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah. This us hey. in our natural habitat. Hey, you're a character yourself, man. Yeah. Okay. Dude, uh, so I've been talking to one of you guys only. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's all right I know it like all as... us. Tomza, right here. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. I'm Odell. Odell? Yes, yes sir. sir. Eon. Eon. Um, that's Dom. Eon, Odell, and um. What was it? I forgot. Uh, the dude has been texting me. Is Husma? Hamza. Yep. Hum. Yeah, Hamza. Yep. There yep. you go. Going yeah. on, man. Dude, I'm doing pretty good. I've had a crazy ass day. I just got done skateboarding. Um, oh yeah. The reason I wanted to do this podcast with you guys and thank you for um, 
you know, allowing me to be here. It feels it feels good to be like first time guest on a podcast. I'm usually like I've done podcasting before and hosted streams. Um, first time as a guest. So That's it feels awesome. pretty cool. Nice. Welcome. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. This Happy to be here, bro. If this was Discord, I could give you some hearts right now. Just know. <laughs> I don't know about Discord at all. Produces hearts. Oh, Yo, Hamza, though. I'm trying so hard. This sucks because it's hooked in. Hamza, how'd you do that? I'm trying so hard because it's hooked in. Fucking stay, dude. Dude. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to say. I'm trying, to say, I'm oh, trying so hard. Hearts you. I'm trying to just stay. She won't stay. You're a, you're a oh, oh, stay. There we go. We're back. So back. We are We're so, so back. back. We're so back. We're so fucking back. Let's fucking go, Brian. All right. Now I can do official introduction, real interview. Sorry about the technical uh the technical difficulties, but thanks good, for the patience. Here. Good. All good with no me. worries. Yeah. So, All so, right, Eon, you want to run you want to run back the Yep, yep. All so right. So we back. Wait, take two. Back. To the third edition of the Don Tolliver Hearthstone podcast. Podcast. <laughs> we got five of us here. We got Eon, Odell, Dom, Hamza, Ushwin, and we got Brian. Mr. Nice gang, Brian. gang, baby. You want to introduce yourself? Tell us where you're from. Yeah. Um, originally from New Hampshire, Chester, New Hampshire. I've been living in uh, Austin, Texas for about like eight years now. Nice. Shout out Texas. Where are you guys from? To Austin. We're all in Dallas. All Dallas. No way. Yeah. Yeah. What? So That's the right. reason I found you guys is because the algorithm like pointed me your direction. Do you think that has anything to do with proximity? Could be. Could it be. You probably crazy. have a good, good amount of Texas viewers. Maybe we got onto your timeline somehow. Hey. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, my yeah. eyes were directed to your guys' podcast. I started tuning in and I thought it was fucking hilarious. So I just kept watching. Hell yeah, dude. Hey. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. That's a game yeah, what's in the, box? Yeah. <laughs> in the box? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, you got yeah. the hearts. Yeah, I figured out the hearts. Figured out the hearts. Nice. Showing love, showing love to the gang. Appreciate you, Brian. We appreciate the random support because, you know, you don't know us. We don't know you. So it's kind of great that we connected in this kind of way. Did we know Don Tolliver was going to be our savior? We did it. No. We love it. We're lo- we Shout love out. it here, though. But we Shout didn't know more about you. Why were you screaming? I was probably mad at my parents. <laughs> First, <laughs> I guess, yeah. what song, what song yeah. was it, Mr. Eon, that uh, we found Brian? Okay, uh, so you guys can hear me. I'm just trying to make sure all my mic levels are... Oh, yeah, 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 you sound good. Yep, we can hear you. Okay, perfect um so it's funny now because like somehow randomly overnight like um it's so wild like this band <clears throat> never was like i don't know it felt like a drop in the pond it's not like we're an iconic band mm-hmm. like it was a big moment for us like we've had bands but this was one that like carried on for a minute that was really good played mm-hmm. a lot of shows but mm-hmm. it wasn't a band that like i thought we were gonna go on world tours mm-hmm. You said a long time. How long were you guys? Uh, I mean, maybe a year or two, I think. I think. I could be wrong. I think it's a year or two. And then this is, you. this band was formed in uh, New Hampshire or in? uh... Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because all all of us went to uh, Pinkerton High School in Derry, New Hampshire. Derry, New Hampshire. For damn sure. Hey, for damn on. sure. New Hampshire for damn sure. I like that. <laughs> LFOD, come on. <laughs> LFOD. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. So was that the the song? Uh what is it? Uh She Died Really Pretty. That's that's the title of the song, correct? No, She Died Real Pretty is the band. Oh, that's the band. Okay. okay. Yeah. And, and then the, the song um, the song was called Industry Sets In. Okay. Yeah. And the funny thing about all of this is that like um, now that the Internet has been like revealing random facts about us all the time, like it's getting crazy. Like before that, we're we never existed, according to the Internet. And now we do. Yeah. So it's funny. There's all these people talking about like, do you even know that fucking band? I've been in that band. Oh, I know about them. No, you don't. I'm like seeing people argue and it's like 
<laughs> there's still like Reddit people talking about us. And even some people were like, do you think this is going to like reignite them and they'll go back on tour? And it's like the lead is singer, it? dude, the lead singer told me, or no, sorry, the lead singer told my buddy Justin, the guitarist, he said, uh, I guess to all of us, he said, um, I don't care and I want to be a ghost. So he wants to act like none of this shit. Like, I was like, why though? He was like, eh, it was a different time. And he was like, I kind of just want to, It's he's a dad with kids and he works mm. in like big, big pharmaceuticals. And he's like, if I was like a rock and roll rebellious teenager, I want to leave that in my past because now he's like, I'm more professional. Respect, respect. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Hell yeah, dude. He shouldn't either. Hey, bring the band back together. I I would love it because like if we did actually get back together, it would probably have to be another singer. That's how much he doesn't want to do it. Damn. Was he the one screaming? No. Okay. So it's both of us. It's Donnie and me. So the funny thing. Okay. So yeah. Donnie. Factoids about the band. Sorry. Um, are um the fact that like Don Tolliver picked the demo version, and then the internet's like it was recorded at RJ's house. It's like we recorded two versions. For some reason, he picked the demo. Okay. Which is interesting. Mm. How did like? more raw how did he find it like do you have any idea of like how he like, found y'all song? like was it online or like i mean was the Get demo this. available online i don't know how old you guys are i'm 34 it was before the days of like this mainstream every platform internet free information all the time so we were literally like burning cds ourselves and like spray painting the stencils with our band name uh literally diy patches diy t-shirts Oh, uh, you name it. It was like literally just like, we'll just do it ourselves. And we did because we wanted to do it. Um, and people on the Internet uh, post was it posthumously put um, all of the music onto different platforms, including YouTube. So, Mr. What is it? Alien something productions. Mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. the piece of paper. I won't show the facts and figures, but do you recognize the logo? I'll pull it up. Hang on. Because the video, the video we found is from a channel called Thanks Darkness. Huh. Mr. Alien. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, this is it. Uh, this fucking logo that, here. That just proves that it's spread spread even more than, I guess, we, we uh, thought. Because, yeah, we found it from a right. completely different place. So, if anybody of Don Tulliver's people see this, yes, it's me, Brian. I'm doing the majority of the streaming. Yes, I did get your uh documents here hello that's <laughs> nice. me yeah that's awesome i don't know Sir. alien alien something hard Services. oh okay that was a, who was trying to clear it they sent you that to clear the sample ba- well yeah eventually it dude i i wasn't even i didn't sign anything but i didn't want to talk about it basically for like three or four months while i was dealing with this mm. okay so you heard about it three I, or four I, months ago you're saying yeah, and basically I worked my um full-time job like a fucking adult and then like it always in the background was like dude this music is being used it's crazy it's crazy and I was like to what degree I didn't it didn't really like, it didn't like sink in until like I see all the streams and plays and I'm like oh this guy is like a big deal oh. I literally didn't even get into this guy until the fucking whole thing like oh shit yeah like, yeah now i'm like fully you saw his catalog music. and he got a pretty big following too so yeah i had no idea i had no idea and that song that he sampled or use your sample on is like one of the best songs on the album too i would yep. say um so I up, really up, like, up, up. Hey. that one is gonna be crazy just sad <laughs> <laughs> that's a mosh pit anthem right there it's a mosh pit yeah it's like a mosh song i feel like yeah, yeah that, for sure yeah which I think, like, what is your guys, if I ask you a question, like, what's your opinion on, like, artists that are, um, I guess, like, going more hardcore? I would say Playboy Playboy Cardi kind of, like, spearheaded that it. new shift. Mm-hmm. I love right? it. Yeah, I, I love, love it. Yeah. We're all into yeah. that rock star rapper lifestyle. We be yeah. thinking we're them. We're rappers. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I mean, there's ba- there's plenty of bands that have done it. I mean, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on references, but, like, I know that uh, a lot of like rappers from like old school rap combined with uh, hardcore metal. 
I said I mean, I Lil Wayne put out a rock album too, like back in like 2009, didn't he? he like he like Lil Wayne rock season. album. I mm-hmm. think so, right? Yeah. Yeah, he played guitar. Yeah. yeah. Az Coldplay album. You know, there's always been that little fusion, and then Dominic Jay Z Lincoln Park album. Like, come on, come on. That's oh classic. shit! Yeah. So it's always it's always I think been a kind of hand in hand thing. I think now it's just getting closer because more people like to like mosh pit. And so I think this is like this. It's like a combo of aggression almost because like hip hop has its own aggression and then rock has its own aggression. And so I feel like the hands are finally like coming to shake. Facts. A lot of the rappers want to be rock stars too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The amount of like songs, party like a rock star, all that shit. It's been like, you're right. They do for sure, like hand in hand. Yeah, and I, I feel like, yeah, uh, I would even say, yeah, like, Suicide Boys, I feel like they've kind of always channeled that kind of, you know, like, hardcore sound, X, yeah. XXX, uh, uh, Tentacion, no. he was, uh, he was, like, a big uh, person in that space, mm-hmm. he masked, I feel like, Trippy Red a little bit, mm-hmm. so, like, he's done his rock stuff, so, and then I feel like, Car- once Pedro Cardi came in, he really, like, took it to, like, the mainstream, like, yeah. once, he, once Whole Lot of Red came out, it's, like, everything changed. And then that's when you get all these little Playboy Cardi clones. That's where you're getting Ken Carson's <laughs> Destroy Lonelies. And then now Who you have that? other these are all people part of a Playboy opium. Cardi label. Opium, yeah, his opium label. What is okay. Well, you tell me something. I have no idea. Yeah. So yeah, uh, these are all give them give them the history lesson of opium. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he, obviously, yeah, you know Playboy Cardi. So yeah, he yes. uh yeah, he came up, whatever, and then yeah, he did a whole lot of red, which at the time when it first released, like still remember to this day christmas day 2020 it was like it was like very like yeah it was like very like the the it was received very like split like it's either you loved it or you hated it like it polarizing was, for sure yeah it's very polarizing and then i think over time obviously one of the songs went viral on tiktok and that kind of helped bring it more mainstream and stuff but i think oh by i think now you know four years later it's pretty i think everyone the general consensus is that it's like a really good album and i think it started this wave of all these like yeah. wow. like the hardcore rap hardcore trap and like mm-hmm. now we're kind of seeing literally it's like you know and so with that like there was a bunch of these little sound card artists that were trying to do the same thing and so playboy cardi he started up a label called opium and he signed a bunch of them and so it was kind of really just in that in that area they were just kind of sticking that label and so now you got don Tolliver coming out and like he's one of the first yeah. like new bigger artists to kind of like go down that lane too so i feel like we're gonna see a lot more artists doing that honestly i think he should inv- if if uh any of don tulliver's where's my camera <laughs> if any of don tulliver's people see this podcast this isn't like a patreon right this is going no, to no, youtube no. this is going on youtube straight to YouTube. okay cool for the people yeah i want to it's for the people not patreon i would say i hope if any of his people see this i can still scream like that i can still play drums and if you wanted me to perform i live in austin he lives in houston hit me up where's my camera yes sir three hours make make brian scream live make brian i can't do it in my apartment right now that's not a good idea (laughs) (laughs) so but i would have you like so i know you so you did the sample you cleared it were you able to meet with don Tolliver at all through that process or it's very like you know his management team and kind of yes. like that it's very like bureaucratic i guess bureaucratic yeah exactly red tape all that yeah it's weird yeah because like i only caught word of it from the other members until they kept impressing on me like the sincerity of like how crazy this was and i was like i don't understand and then like something happened where it kind of like clicked for real like you can't deny it after seeing like the song being played in a f- movie trailer. There's a movie apparently, Bike Riders. Yeah, oh, yep. What oh, yep. the hell? Like, <laughs> I had no fucking clue. I need yeah, to see that movie uh, still. He took that rock star and that biking motorcycles, like Harleys, real choppers and shit, and just made like a fusion album, just everything hard. You know, it was like yeah. everything hard. I love everything hard. Just yeah, pricked. and then the Fortnite thing too. That's random. Yeah, fuck. That's you guys crazy. know about that? Yeah, yeah. He had a Fortnite yeah. collab. It's yeah, yeah it's so, honestly insane. What the fuck? They pulled up. Hey, hey. It's the, I love it's it. the Cactus Jack I label. It. It's like the Travis Scott effect. That's you know he's got the connections from there because you know Travis Scott got the whole Fortnite situation and mm-hmm. had that whole virtual concert. 
So, you know, it's inevitable. The, he had a virtual Travis, concert? Yo, yeah. Adele, he had a virtual concert? Travis Scott did in like in Fortnite. In, in COVID. In Fortnite. In COVID. Oh, yeah. Like, it was a whole event. It was like a it was like a state. Yeah, it was honestly like at the time it was pretty like groundbreaking. Yeah, it was like a live thing that all these people from around the world could join, and it was like happening at the same time. Like you get into wow. your in like Fortnite, your, your, like run. But yeah, virtually. look it up on you. Look it up on YouTube. You can get a good video that has like all the best angles of the yeah. visual concert. It's like ten minutes or fifteen minutes or something. But yeah, I, I'm not sure. I can't remember if he was the first, but that was definitely like the one that I think put it on the map because I know the weekend's done a virtual concert. I think Ariana Grande's mm-hmm. done a virtual concert. I think Bad Bunny did one. I think it's like a lot of the big stars have Justin done. Bieber, right? I think maybe a Justin Bieber might have done it. I know a Marshmallow did it. Like, there's been a lot of big names who have like. Well, I feel like once Travis Scott did it, they're all like, "Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this," and it's kind of you know brought more eyes on them. And well, I guess the younger crowd, people who maybe wouldn't normally listen to their music, are getting exposed to them now. Which I guess yeah, it's called it's called people who are digitally native. That's all they know. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I just want to quickly say that if this meeting just cuts out uh it's because um uh, the free version uh just only gives you like 40 minutes so if oh, it, that's cool if it's a re- 40 minute interview that's well, fine too well no if we you need know. to like keep going just re-click the link and we can all cue back in and so we can okay. just wrap up if we still got more uh just yeah quick, quick clarification though so you were saying that they reached out to you about um sampling or clearing the sample for your song and you were saying that you were hearing it from your bandmates or yeah. previous bandmates. So how did they reach out to you? Did they just find an email? Did they find an address and like mail you something? Dude, it's so funny. So I just got thrown into a group chat. I kid you not. So when things were like really starting to pop off, he was it was like this for a while. So it's like in the ether, I hear rumors, I hear like echoes. <laughs> and I'm just like a full-time working adult and I'm just doing my thing. And I'm like, whatever, whatever, nothing, whatever. And then all of a sudden, I have like one day where my phone gets like almost, I think I reached the maximum notification amount on Instagram. So I think it's like 300 plus. Yeah, yeah. You hit like 300 plus and then you can't get any more notifications. And it was about like this thing like starting to really pop off. And it was a group chat that I got sent to. And uh, it was funny because like I know how to work Instagram a bit. I make videos. And that was another thing. I want to mention, I make videos. Uh, my name is Brian Nyberg, B-R-I-A-N, last name, N-Y-B-E-R-G. Look me up on the YouTube and subscribe because oh, that's, yeah. you know, that's my passion. Creative, uh, supporting still, creators. Yeah, exactly. You're, if you're a creative person, you just create stuff. So um, I really didn't think after all these years of being a creative person that the thing that would stick would be a demo version <laughs> of a song that was recorded at my friend's parents' house on a USB stick microphone. It's just, so crazy. the meeting's about to end. Just rejoin so we can continue the conversation. Just rejoin the meeting. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Hi. Hi. We're back. We are so back. We are so back. Okay. Uh, continue on with your, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry about that, but no. yeah, I was going to end and I just, I wanted to make sure you finished a, you had a finished thought. Yeah. You guys are good podcasters. You probably listen to a lot of podcasts. You know how it is. Definitely yes, do. Sir. Yeah. That's why people love podcasts is because they're authentic. Like leave all the shit in, leave in all the mistakes. Like it's real people. Mm, exactly. I'm not, cool. believe it or not, I'm not part of the mainstream music industry. Uh, I work doing valet security and i'm a skateboarder in austin texas i don't how i ended up here i don't even fucking know but (laughs) i love the fact that for some reason this guy is the reason we're all just like you know yeah shout out donnie so uh, but yeah my question to you is uh so now that you've kind of, I guess, discovered Don Tolliver, have you like, uh, have you like been listening to any of his other music, or have you like, okay. I guess, like yeah, gone I've back into like rap music, thing. or did anybody research or anything like that that you found that's like in like some type of music that you've been enjoying? Yeah, guys, so I any? will say, I will say that um, I've noticed that like 
all these people who collaborate, I guess all different like artists and brands do this, but like it is truly how you like expand your uh, fan base. Uh, for example, uh, as far as like new generation rappers, my favorite out of all the current people, I think is Yeet, who's mainstream. Yeet yeah. is my favorite mainstream. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Hums, you just yeah. gained like a million brownie points with Hums. Yeah. Just like, oh, Hums cool. is so Yeet. happy yeah. right now. Yeet. Yeet. Yeet is, yeah, that's, yeah. Goated. So, so while good. I was listening to Yeet, uh, you know, not too long ago, he did a song with this fella on the uh, the motorcycle here. Yeah. And um, I've heard him before. Like, I, I know his voice, but I'm like, who is this person? Like, I, it sounds familiar. And then I see the name Don Tolliver. I'm like, oh, fuck. It's the guy who's doing all the, you know, stuff we're dealing with. I was like, that's the same guy, huh? Mm hmm. So at, when you first heard about the sample, did you just clear it, not understanding the like magnitude oh, of the situation? And then you figured out after or was it like kind of at the same time? What if I told you? The same day that my phone was like exploding and like overheating, it was like he played the unreleased, <clears throat> uncleared. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he played the song uh, uncleared in front of like, I think it was. It was, it was a festival. It was like Rolling Loud. I think. Rolling Loud. Because I, I remember seeing that clip and I was like, yo, this shit. I was like, whatever the fuck this song is, this <laughs> shit's crazy. He didn't this is the one. That, my guy. <laughs> Damn. And then that's how we started the process. Like, oh, this is actually a big deal. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You saw the reaction at Rolling Loud and you were like, now, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's I was like, what the sample. fuck is this? Because everybody's yeah. like, you don't understand how crazy this is. I was like, I don't know who this person is yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you had already heard about like him wanting to sample before that Rolling Loud, too. Like you probably had it sent to you. It, I think, like I said, it's like, OK, so a group chat is happening. And like my buddies still talk to me from the band, like here and there. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it was the guitarist and the bassist, Justin. Shout out, Justin. Shout out, Brian. Love you, motherfuckers. Oh, and yeah. um, they were like telling me like, yo, people like, still talk about us on Reddit, this and that and this and that. Get this. So Justin, I think, had the uh, notifications on the Reddit page and he got a notification about him playing it at Rolling Loud. So it's like, you know, Reddit slash our band. And it's like, you can you do you guys still listen to this band? Check this out. And he like everybody like everybody's fucking heads explode and they scrape their blank. The, the hang on. Let me redo that punchline. <clears throat> <Where's my mic? laughs> it was so crazy. Their heads exploded and they had to scrape their brains off the fucking ceiling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, real hard stone shit. Hardstone <laughs> psycho shit for real. Yeah, for real. No, nah, that's I a nail... crazy way to find out the Reddit threads, man. Reddit did I nail my punchline? Did I nail my punchline? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you anyway. nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude. Yeah, you guys are comedians too. Like, do you guys do stand up? Uh, no. Uh, Dominic, mentally, uh, no. what? You guys don't do stand up? I thought you were all stupid. comedians. No, no, Dominic does. Don't let okay. him. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's more so like on the side thing. He wants it to, you know, we got to start out to be a hobby. Then we slowly yeah. get better at it. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm like you. I, I skate as well. Classes as well. Oh, yeah. Fellow skater right there. Yeah, I skateboard. And occasionally, the last time I did stand up was like on my birthday at my friend's house. So is that when you oh, ran nice. into Shane Gillis? Or can you talk about that? Shane How Gillis you... is when uh, Lemon Party came into town. Do you guys know Lemon Party? I do not. Party is. Unfortunately. Oh, my I God. Am. I'm I know educated. you know the website of the old guys sucking each other off. That's what it's named after. Um, <laughs> so it's actually the producer of um, Tim Dillon's podcast originally. And then he started his own thing. Mm. Now, going back to the matter at hand, uh, old guys sucking another. Old guy. <laughs> yeah. So um. if you go to www.lemonparty.com, it's a photo like a JPEG of a bunch of old guys uh, blowing each other. Let me check. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll I'm just one. looking just for like confirmation for, for the love. Of the yeah. Game. So those guys came into town. They were doing a podcast uh, live oh. and uh, Shane was there. 
Nah, guys, we can't even view this place. We can't even view this website in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. we got a band. We got a VPN, bro. <laughs> One of those. Yeah, we'll do our research. We'll conduct our research after. <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> but i mean it's just for scientific like purpose it's not like you know arousal or anything we're just yeah yeah yeah, yeah we're just we would never yeah of course. of course of course so i guess yeah so austin yeah i know the comedy scene's like pretty big there so like like um what is it like kill tony have you been to a kill tony show or anything like that or you know anybody yeah absolutely on? i used to hang out in kill alley now it's uh poor choices okay kill alley yeah. How long yeah, have you been down I, in Austin? I'm a filmer. I'm, I'm a videographer. I've filmed uh, people at Kill Alley. I filmed Cam Patterson before he was like a regular. Oh, that's lit. Yeah. So. Yeah, he's, he's hilarious. How long have you been down in Austin? Uh, I think eight years now. Oh, lit. Nice. So what made you want to move from uh, New Hampshire to Austin? Warmth. Warmth. <laughs> Yeah, Respect. did you get? Did you like bite off more than you could chew? Uh, <laughs> coming to Austin, I left my parents' house in New Hampshire when I was twenty five, turning twenty six. Or no, I was already twenty six. I had a thousand dollars to my name. Mm -hmm. I spent. Um, oh my god! Uh, all I know is that I had a hundred dollars when I arrived in Austin. Slept in my car for two weeks and then had a place. Nice, dude! Nice. Congrats. That's usually how That's, it goes. You just gotta grind you it. Up. That's called shit. grabbing life by the balls, motherfucker. Yeah, on, yeah. You gotta grab him by the cojones. <laughs> is that a That's character? That is that is that Joey Diaz? <laughs> yeah, it is Joey Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be Joey. That'd be Joey or uh, the guy uh, on the other side of the glory hole. Oh, good. Oh, good. I can confirm that's true. Oh, oh yeah. Tom said, "Oh, I knew it sounded familiar." Yeah, that's <laughs> where I, that's where I know that from. You better um, you better empty those balls, motherfucker. <laughs> you better drain that snake, cocksucker. I, like I swear I'm not Joey Diaz. I swear if you suck my dick, you'll get five minutes in the belly room, motherfucker. <laughs> That's actually pretty That's good. Funny. That's a pretty good impression. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, is that uh is that all the questions? Do you Brian, do you have any uh other plugs you want to give us? Oh, dude, uh, I would say the main thing to take away from all of this is like the wild happenstance. It's absolutely insane. I know I'm going to retell this story over and over again. It's actually amazing that like you were the first people to like take an interest because like I saw what you guys are doing and I'm like, this would be perfect because you did the review and I was laughing my ass off. You did a second review also and like, <laughs> fuck, man, I was like, this would be perfect. It will. It, it's oh, nice yeah, we appreciate that, man. Yeah, sir. It's called Donnie series. Same thing. Series. Yeah. Shout out Don Tolliver. Shout Brian. out DT. Yeah, we well, saw your message. If you guys are ever in Austin, please hit me up. If you're in Dallas. Well, we are in Dallas. Bet. Yes, sir. Yeah, and vice versa. If I'm in Dallas, I can hit up. You know, Hamza. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. You guys, uh, how about this? We'll be outside. All you guys. You message. Me, this is the plug, I guess. My plug would be um, add me on uh, Instagram. It's dopamine slot machine 777. We'll just throw it up. Or by the time we edit the video, it'll be, it'll be, your handle will just be thrown up on the screen. Yeah, I can uh, point yeah, like, hit that, uh, hit that, yeah. TikTok person right here. That's yeah, right the there. link to my work uh, at dopamine slot machine underscores for spaces 777. And um, I also would like to introduce you to, as well, if you're interested, my very good friend here, uh, Ty Nguyen, who is a rapper out of Austin, Texas, who is currently going to Fish Tank's Blood Games uh, okay. with Sam Hyde, Nick Rochefort, MDE, Million Dollar Extreme. You guys should interview him next because he's like an up and coming like comedian rapper from Austin. And I think it would be perfect for you guys. Nice. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Spell uh did you did you spell his name? Can you spell his name? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna do another one of the TikTok things. Okay. Oh. So where my finger is, you can go ahead and go to one of his pages. They're all basically just his name. So it's spelled T A I 
N G U Y E N. Ty Nguyen, and he makes music. He's been on Kill Tony, I think, multiple times. Okay. And he's killed it. He's just like one of the funny, like the funniest, underrated, talented comedian and rapper. It's kind of like a Zach Fox. You guys know Zach Fox? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He's like the same thing. He's in movies too and stuff. Like he acts, he does stand up, and he makes music. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's lit. Yeah. So I think if I sent your stuff along his way or vice versa, like it would be a perfect match as well. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love that. Take that, man. Love to build yeah. our connection. Lovely. I've had a good time. So yeah, I guess that's like all the plugs. Uh add me on YouTube and Instagram. I don't give a fuck about TikTok. I don't really use that much. People <laughs> love it. I don't fuck I'm TikTok. indifferent. Fuck TikTok. <laughs> they sh- they shadow banned us. Fuck Try to ban us. Oh they <laughs> no, they shadow banned you guys? Yeah. Right. Basically. Why? It's cause Cause they hate us because they it's cause when it's when you're at the top, the devil comes for you. Yeah. Is it because you guys are saying naughty cuss words? Yeah, yep. probably. No, fuck you. Something about racism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, yeah. What Dom said. <laughs> it's uh, wow. it, fuck, fuck TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube and Instagram, that's where it's at. They getting canceled, anyways. Real ones. Dude, I I can't believe it went from like everyone having their own individual website with their own video players, and now it's like all these platforms, which get so big. And have massive, um, you know, lack of oversight and control in the content. And then they use AI and basically shadow ban people if you're a victim. Yeah, I get it. And the copyright strikes and all that shit is weird because I make skate videos. And all the time it's like, I, dude, it's gotten so crazy. Even if you wrote the song, they would be like, you're flagged. And it's like, but you have to yeah. prove that you did stuff. It's like none yeah. of it makes sense. Yeah. No, we, yeah. Me, we deal with our fair share of copyright issues whenever whenever we include like whenever we're doing like music reactions and stuff and yeah we gotta like that's right put, yeah because you guys play the official music and stuff yeah, i don't know if they clear that we have yeah, to like, russia go doesn't, around it russia doesn't fuck with us yeah russia and Belarus hate us like they absolutely hate us we're all our it's videos are practically blocked in russia and Belarus. we got no audience there. but yeah. shout out to are our you fans saying like, this is yeah. a cold war oh it's real cold yeah, <laughs> it might be the summer, but it's 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 real frosty outside. Come on! <laughs> oh my God! Grab your heater and your jacket. Wow! Well, Damn, are. dude. Yeah, let's fucking. How about for real? Like we should hang out for sure. Um, all you guys, add me. I'll add you back. And uh, I hope the audience that's watching they get to check out um the stuff that I still do to this day. And yeah, keep playing that song because um you know. We all now can oh, officially bro. make a couple bucks, so that's cool. Oh yeah, yes. oh yeah, dude! Congrats yeah. to you, brother. Have to make some money off of that for sure. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, Great cheers, man, to y'all! Cheers. Shout out to Brian. Go check out his Insta, his socials. Go check out the old band. Check too. out Come his on. work. Bring that song. Like you have any yeah, up, real pretty. Check out you the have OG any... band, what? and if this gives what? inspiration, what? another thing to take from this is like. Whatever you do, someone might not like it. It might not be, not be received as well in at that moment. But look at this, like 18, however many years later. That's in the future, yes, popping back up again and Don Tolliver and like the way it sounds. So you never it's know. It's weird, man. It's weird. And I would say the same thing goes for like any uh, creative person or artist. Um, as long as you keep creating art uh, for the passion of it, people see that. And um, hopefully you get paid someday. But it was funny. The moment that I fully gave up, I was like, I'm just going to be whatever the stereotypical. I'm broke all the time. Starving artist. Fuck me. And then all of a sudden, like this was a weird turnaround that actually worked in my favor. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you just make stuff. And then maybe someone might notice. But you're you're still going to make art regardless. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Great point for yourself. I get behind that. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, that sounds cheers. like a pretty good summary. Cheers to that. Cheers yes, to that. Sir. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers to Hearthstone Psycho. Cheers to Brian. Fuck yeah. Cheers to Brian. Cheers to Brian and she died cheers. real pretty for real. Yes, sir. And real pretty for real. Hey. Hello, so much, get the, and get the band back together. Yes. I don't know. Yes, talk sir. to Donnie. Well, Donnie. <laughs> It's the singer. Got, it's the only got, guy who like got feels like I don't know. To talk to. We got to talk hey, to tell Donnie. Donnie to talk to Donnie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's uh, he has. Yeah, it's it's 
it's not a me issue. It's he has to figure out why he can't. I don't know. Yeah. I would yeah. love to. I don't care. Hey, I'm man, about to Johnny it, T as well. John <laughs> Tolliver too. Maybe, maybe yeah, I'll convince him. Yeah, exactly. Once he realizes, I had no idea until now who how, how big this guy was, I guess. Yeah. Right. yeah. Hey, hey, if you need a, if you if you need backup screamers, you know we're here. Uh, yeah, dude, we'll scream. If you okay, how about this? If you guys, if you got guys in Dallas, you want me to feature, do some weird, crazy shit? I could fucking feature on a song and scream, be like, "Oh, it's a guy from the Screaming Song." Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can do the, I can still, yeah, I can still, I can do all the crazy screams and stuff. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that, dude. Okay. Yeah, I still want to play music like that, but I just, I don't know. I've just been so wrapped up in what I'm doing now. I mean, I think maybe if I wanted to start something new, I could. I guess now, Started now Brian. Start it now, Brian. I get it, Brian. Don't, don't, ever, it. don't ever let it quit. Keep it going. Okay, don't Brian. give up on music. Don't give up on music, Brian. <laughs> okay. Okay. Rock out, Brian. Just keep yeah, the preview. Brian. Maybe preview I need to make music. Yeah, I guess I need to make music. Oh yeah, Brian. Fuck it. This was this was the motivation you needed. Maybe this that maybe this happened for a reason. Like maybe I'm supposed to make more music. Yeah. Hey. Hearthstone yes, Brian. Hearthstone Brian. Hearthstone Brian. Yes, Yes. Oh man. Make it tore oh, up yeah. two. Tore up two. Your your remix to it. <laughs> do, do I thought about Brian it. Remix. Like, um, did you guys see the last post I made on my Instagram? It was uh if you had I know you guys love the editing and stuff. Um, if you wanted to splice in a uh shot hmm. here, I would play the Instagram clip of me doing a bean plant over the three block. Uh, my last post on Instagram with the song playing and it hit 10 million streams. So that's why we're here talking too. And Hell look, yeah. this picture right here. Make note look of that. It. Make look note of that. Picture too. It's hit oh. it hit the billboard. Yeah. That's Number three. that's that's ridiculous. That performative. Uh, no, just wait till he's on tour. It's going to be nuts when you see those. I would love to scream on stage. Don Tolliver, hit me up. Hit him up. Yeah. Hit him up. Hit me up. Okay. It's been and a great episode. Up. Everybody listen. To listen, buddy, podcast, or you're losing yeah. out, my buddy. Thank you, you Brian. Yes, sir. You said it better, Brian. Listen, buddy. L F O D. L F O D is fuck, man. Let's go. L F O D. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. L F O D. All right, Brian. Thank you so much, man. Thank we you, Brian. appreciate you taking the time. Peace and love. Love you guys. Love you too, yeah, you too, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Good, night. good bro. You have a good night. Bye. Take it easy out there in Austin. Go do another comedy show or something. Go scream. <laughs> Go scream. <laughs> Go scream. <laughs> 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 And that brings us to the end of another episode on the Listen Buddy Podcast. If you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it, don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button. Reach out on all social platforms at Listen Buddy Podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below. Stay tuned for more episodes every Friday. And as always, listen, buddy.